imagine being trapped with five other people inside a small room for a whole year. That's exactly what some brave volunteers are attempting to test what life might be like for the first people sent to Mars. Could you do it? Carl has more. So you're in your classroom with a few buddies. But then, imagine if the door shuts oh my God. and you're trapped in there for a whole year. I spy with my little eye. Paper again? There wouldn't be much space to do anything fun. Can you guys do that somewhere else? Well, there's literally nowhere else where we can do it. <clears throat> or much privacy. Hey, there is a toilet in here, right? Um... And on top of all that, you'd have to eat the same disgusting packaged food every single meal. Ugh, that's disgusting. Sounds like something you could do? Well, then you'd be perfectly suited to living on Mars. To see how our future Mars explorers would react to all of those challenges, NASA has thrown six people into this dome on the side of a volcano in Hawaii for an isolation experiment. The 11 metre wide bubble has been built to give them a taste of what life would be like on the red planet. They'll go for an entire year without fresh air, fresh food or much privacy. The test has been set up because there are some big plans to get humans to Mars. We have the technology, but there are still heaps of challenges to overcome. First, we don't know how people would deal with the trip, which will take somewhere between one and three years. Plus, it'll be pretty tricky surviving on a planet that's cold, windy and doesn't have breathable air. This experiment is mostly focused on how people might cope living together in a small space for a really long time. And they're taking the simulation really seriously. So if these guys want to go outside, they have to wear their spacesuits. We'll all miss our friends and family, but just this, the wind in your face, the sun, that I'm going to miss a lot. So do you reckon you could do it? I think I would probably die of boredom. Yes, I could, but I would need more sources of entertainment. I have got the motivation and enthusiasm, and I'm a very patriotic human. It'll be a long, tough challenge, but if our brave pioneers don't end up annoying each other too much, they could pave the way for humans to set up a home on a brand new planet.